Hey everybody, it's me, Jill, from Creating With Love. Guess what? Um, these are envelopes, and they kind of look horrible right now, but they are going to become something really cute. I had a request in the comments on, um, on my YouTube, Creating With Love, and I decided that, yes, I would do an envelope flip book, but I am trying to cut it down into like short steps so it won't be so long. So I have four invitation um, envelopes that I colored all the sides of because the last one, not the last one, but the first envelope flip book I did, I didn't do the sides or the corners of it. And this is Sharpie. It's just a big fat Sharpie. I'll show you. You can use anything you want. And you just do most of the sides. So um, I'm going to show you how to put it together. And then I'm going to show you how to put some of the pages or, you know, some of the, um, what the heck is that called? Some of the paper blackings on it. So, and that will be our first stream. And then I have some really cute images that I put together. I'm going to show you at least one of them. These are napkins, guys. We're going to learn how to do these onto photo paper so that um, they're going to be decoupage on some, onto photo paper so that we can use this in the book. Okay? Some of them are going to be inside the pockets. Some are not. We'll see how it comes out because usually um, I kind of change things as I go along. Well, that's what crafters do, but um, I kind of change things as I go along. So I got my little double-sided tape. I got one of my glue sticks, and we're going to put this together. All right, so now I want to score part of this envelope. As you can see, I have scored what I did right here. You can see the score mark. So I come up to uh, the bend in the envelope flap. And this is going to give us a gusset in this book so that we don't have to worry about stuff, you know, being too bulky. Okay? So this is going to, we're going to do this on all of them, and I'll show you. I have a scoring nub here, as well as a blade. But I'm going to use the scoring nub right now. The blade is out of my way. Here's the scoring nub. Okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this section right here where the envelope bends. It'll give me maybe a half an inch of a gusset or a quarter inch. I'll, I'll measure it in a minute. Trying to think. Okay, let me score these, all of them. Oh, that didn't want to score. What the heck? Okay, we'll do it again. Not going to get upset. So we're going to score it. And it's not working. Oh, what's wrong? Let me do it this way then. See where I have it? Hmm. I wonder. All right, hold on. All right, so as I found out, these, these little nubs fall out of their uh, bracket thing. The um, thing that's holding them. So hopefully it'll work. So I have it lined up where I told you to line it up. Fold it down. Lock it up. It probably ripped right through. I don't like that. But anyways, there, yep, it ripped right through. But we're going to put a little washi tape there to help it. I pressed a little too hard. I'm sorry. So we're going to do it again. This time, we're not going to press so hard. It tends to rip it. See, guys? Hmm. And I'm not pressing hard. So, a little bit of washi tape will do ya. All right, so there's another one. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, so... We have our double-sided tape, 
and we're going to put the double sided tape on one of these. Okay. I'm just going to put it on the, you know, the, the lick the seal part, which is nasty. Glad I don't have to lick it, guys. Okay, and I use that trick with the stamping block. It's a clear stamping block from Gift, Gift Basket Appeal and watching some other crafters. So, I'm not used to doing these on video, so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I never know how these are going to come out. Um, just bear with me and that rip that. Hmm. <laughs> wow, not a good beginning, guys, huh? But that's okay because this is going to be tucked in to here. This will be tucked into here, okay? So if we make a mistake like that, it's coverable. Now, when we're going to use this part, we're going to end up having to color that part too. So I've got to take this off. Hmm. I think my fingers don't want to work, guys. Okay. And we're going to open up this other one and we're going to match up the gussets. So, we're going to, well, actually, we're going to, yeah, we're going to match up this gusset here with the top of this. So, then we're going to end up bending this over. Mm. Take off the other double-sided tape. And I am going to enforce it with a little bit of glue. So there you go. And backwards, okay. So now that we have this mistake here, which we have double-sided tape right here, we're going to end up closing this pouch. It's closed anyway. So we're going to end up, I'm gonna use this as the first pouch right here, but this is closed up. So I'm also going to put one on this side so it'll flip this way in, okay? but we're not going to attach it until we get to the gusset so the gusset can just fold around like so and give you some room, okay? Now this will fold, this one will fold, if it would for me, it'll fold, you just fold it right on the lines, okay? You see what I'm doing? I know that sometimes I can go off focus and I apologize for that. Okay, so we're folding right on the lines and I'm not sure if I wanna go this way. No, nope, I wanna lengthen it. So we're gonna lengthen it. And remember this is pretty ripped, so we're going to have to put something on it to enforce it. Okay, I'm going to take my double-sided tape and just go along this line so that we're okay. Take the black and rip it off. And then I want to do just line it on the lines here. Take the black, rip it off. And then we're gonna do it again over here. I don't, I like using the double-sided tape, tape sparingly because um, it's, 
It's not that expensive if you use it with coupons, but I don't get a chance to buy it that often. <laughs> okay, this tape didn't want to come off here. Okay, there we go. If you have one that overlaps, just fold it over. It's fine. Get my fingers out of your way, guys. Okay, so we're going to just line the edge of this envelope up with the edge of the other envelope right on the gusset. Now, because we have this rip here, we do need to right now um, use some washi with which which with the washi I will use glue. I use a very thin piece. This one seems to be a nice sticky washi. So I'm gonna use glue right there, just the line, and put the washi over the boo-boo, okay? Yes, I called it a boo-boo. <laughs> Whoops, scissors, snip. So you're just gonna let that dry. You're gonna burnish, burnish that on, really. Let it dry. Now we're gonna put the last page on here, which I want the pages to end up flipping in this way, okay? I don't think I'm going to use the gusset on this one. I'm going to end up putting the last page. This will be the last page. I'm sorry. This is the back right here. But I'm going to put the last envelope here so it can flip open this way. So we're going to put our double-sided tape on again. Then, to help it stick, which this tape is pretty, pretty nice. I got it, I think, where did I get it? Oh, Hobby Lobby. I got it from Hobby Lobby, and they seem to have really nice stuff. You know, quality. That's what I'm talking about. You need quality stuff all the time. All right, and then we're going to, this is awkward, I'm sorry. I'm not used to handling this on camera, so it's kind of awkward for me. Um, I apologize if I kind of look a little nervous, but these are really, kind of like intricate things and I like doing simple projects so this is kind of like an intricate project for me to get into it's one of my very first longer projects okay a little bit of glue to enforce right in the middle here and we're going to slide it in here make sure you hold this up the one you're opening, the envelope pocket you're opening, hold it up, okay? And try to get it in there so that, there you go. Oh, all right. And then hit it down. Now, <laughs> your double-sided tape is showing and everything, but don't worry about that. We're gonna take the Sharpie and we're gonna do more of the edge right here. So that we can have all black edges. There you go. Now, I'm not gonna to want to close this book up because there are a few pages that are have sticky exposed. So, 
Okay. This in the back will not be a pocket. This will be a pocket right here. Okay. And <clears throat> this will be a pocket. And then maybe, I'm not sure, I will build a pocket or I will use this right here, the secret pocket. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So let's just build it together as we go. All right. I'm going to use the covering papers right now because we got two sticky pages. So I cut out a few pieces of paper and, um, oh, hold on. I'm sorry that was a kitty invasion. I had to um, tell my kitty, no, she can't climb on me right now. I feel bad, I feel guilty, but you know what? She needs to give me a little time to put my projects together. I have time alone in the house right now, and I want to do this. All right, so, okay. Now we have sticky paper here and sticky paper here. Usually I would start with the beginning, okay? So now, what do I want on the front? Well, this is going to say Happy Easter. And it's going to go with this banner right here. So I think I want this one on the front. So I'm going to flip it over like this. And hopefully it won't stick. Now we have edges here that are not colored because I didn't color the part of the... Um, part of the edges that needed to be colored because I didn't do I didn't know which ones that needed to be done when I get it put together that's where I see where I need to color uh, finish coloring the edges okay I hope that made sense because I'm listening to myself Ooh. so it's drying out too. I kind of need more sharp black sharpies because when I make these, I like making the edges black. All right, so we're going to put this, that color on the front. Do you like that color? Okay. Now all of these, I'm going to give you the measurements right now. I'm going to read them. They're four and a quarter inches wide across this way and five and a half inches long. Okay, four and a quarter inches wide, five and a half inches long. So you have your measurements for that. And we're going to just, we're going to put the sticky tape all over right here all over the edges make sure you i like it on the edges but i'm not going to use it for the middle because i don't want to waste it and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of tape i'll be using so in the middle i'm going to put glue and it's elmer's extra strength glue because I can't find my scotch glue uh, glue yeah the one the rub on glue this one the glue stick and I really really liked that one it, actually no I'm gonna use this one this one's um I got this one at Hobby Lobby and I kind of like the stickiness of this one it's almost like the one I had so I'm gonna put it all in the middle here not too much and not too little, okay? This one doesn't dry as quick as the Elmer's. Then, we're gonna put our four and a half wide by five and a half long piece of paper right on the front, making sure you have borders all the way around the color. And the black borders make these beautiful bright colors pop. See what I mean? 
there you go so this is for later we'll show you how to make these things later they're made out of um, I, like I said photo paper and um, uh oh see that's what I mean you don't want to do that so now we have a few more and I'll probably have to cut a few more out so I have a few more colors that I have to use. Some of them I can only do a half pocket here and then I'll have to color the rest over here. Okay. So I'm going to have to do a half pocket here. Now this one is I think two and a half. Yeah, two and a half by five and five and a half. Yeah, two and I think two and a Wait a minute. Packet page two and three quarter across two and three quarter by five and a half. So now, okay, I want to use this one because I lobbed off part of it. Maybe just maybe I'll just bring it up this way and put a border down this way. But I want to be able to use this pocket get into the pocket so we're just going to line this um yeah we're gonna line this piece of paper again and then i'm going to put you on pause and i'm going to put it together and then we're going to um, start a new video with decorating it and showing you how to do the decoupage napkins. And I probably don't have nearly enough. I gotta go searching for images. And that I will do when I'm putting this together. But we need more images for the, you know, the tags that are going to go inside and all that. I'm going to have to show you how to make each and every part, which is why I was very hesitant on doing one of these because I have to do it all by hand. It's not by, um, I don't have a big, big machine, which I would love to have. I'm waiting to get it. I have most of the money I just have to raise a couple more bucks and I got to get it from Walmart and it's going to be the Sizzix big kick machine with it's going to come with some of the stuff so here I'm making sure that this piece of green paper is framed a little bit you know we'll just do something up there but it's framed with the black so what I'm going to do is see the white pieces right here. We're just going to color very carefully and fill it in. That's all. That's all you do. I'm just a very, very simple crafter. So we have the first, the cover, this is going to be the cover, and the green. You have your pocket here, which there will be something very colorful in the pocket. Then we have a full page we're going to place right here, okay? Then we're going to have a full page here, knowing that there is a pocket inside here, right here. And then we got a pocket here, so we got a half a page we got to do here, and then a full page here. And we might, I'm not sure, um, I wasn't willing to do a flip down. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do one. Hold on. Okay, if I do a flip down, it'll probably be later on in the project. I'm not too sure what I want to do right now. But, um... I have all the papers I want to put 
on my pieces right here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do that, okay? And I'll be back. All right, so I'm down to the last piece of paper. I'm trying to hurry up because this this project is really going to be long and I don't want really long videos uh, because I'm tr I'm going to be taught and I don't know if I can do it or my son says you need to learn how to edit your own videos so I'm trying to keep these short so I don't have to really chop them down or splice them together because new things scare me and I get like anxiety and I won't try it for a couple of weeks okay so that is my one of my anxieties people okay so here is your envelope flip book that you're asking me to produce um, on video um, I think it was Naomi I'm not sure um, you know what? That didn't stick, but oh well. I uh, will fix it when we're off. Okay, so here is, here's the cover. Here's how it's going to open. And then you're going to see something here, and then there's going to be um, a pocket here. You can see that if there's going to be a pocket here, but there's going to be something in the pocket. I'm going to try and get way down in here with the Sharpie. Then you're going to open it this way. You're going to have something stuck here. Where This isn't going to be a photo album. Usually I make photo albums. but And then I got a color right here, guys. And then there's going to be a pocket here. There's going to be a tag or something in there. And there's going to be a regular page. And hopefully we'll utilize this right here. If you can see, it's sticking my finger. That's a pocket too. And then this is just a regular piece of paper, which I forgot to, to put down. And then this will be a pocket here, okay? All right, so we got something started. And I was afraid and I hesitated to do this on, on video because I was afraid I was going to just mess up. And... We'll either make a belly band or use a um, shoelace to tie this shut. So, okay. So if you like the starting of making an envelope flip book, uh, like, you know, push the thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm looking for um, subscribers. I'm looking to just climb up there in subscribers so I could start doing special things. And, um, okay, so if you want to be notified if there's a new video, push the bell. And if you need prayer, inbox me, as well as um, me saying to you, have a blessed night and keep creating with love, everyone.